Hola, bonjour, salve, hello. I'm Cecilia Tambelli, a homeschooling mother of six, a grandmother of three, and I have my own language school, latinteacherlansing.com. Have you ever said to yourself, isn't it lovely that other people's children can speak two or maybe three languages? Those parents may just have a special aptitude for language. Mm -mm. Would it surprise you if I told you that it is the norm around the world to speak two or three languages? And that's because we are not neurologically wired to know just one language. Otherwise, why would there be 7,000 plus languages around the globe? We all have the capacity to learn a foreign language. And if we introduce our children to a foreign language at a very young age, they too can be bilingual or even multilingual. From infancy, we are able to mimic sounds. When I was a girl growing up in my home, I heard the sound of Arabic. That's because my great grandmother came from Lebanon and my grandmother was fluent in Arabic. Although I never studied Arabic as a child, I would years later as a college student. Hearing Lebanese and Arabic spoken in my home prompted me to desire to know more about my ancestry and eventually to travel as far as Egypt to hear Arabic spoken. Those very early years of hearing another language gave me access to hearing other languages and phonetic sounds outside of the English language. In our own home, our children heard several languages when they were just babies in my arms. As I share with you these three keys to learning a foreign language, I want you to remember it is the norm to speak two or three languages. First of all, here's the first key. If you want your child to learn a second language, it is best to let them hear it spoken in the home. How are you going to do this? Does your spouse speak a foreign language? Does your mother-in-law speak a foreign language or perhaps a friend? Let your child be immersed in that language. My husband's parents were from Italy. And so without ever putting a foot into a classroom, my husband heard Italian spoken and he is completely fluent, never having studied Italian. What we did with our own children was to speak Ital Italian to them in casual conversation. We would greet them in the morning, for example. We would say, buongiorno, come stai? Bene, benissimo. I studied French in high school and in college, and I lived abroad. So I would ask them, como ça va? Ça va bien? Très, très, très bien. I would also read to them word books, just as we read English to our children and English word books to our babies and toddlers. We can use foreign language books that we buy at homeschooling conferences. We can pick them up in thrift stores or at the library. Ma maison in French, la porte, le chat, la fenêtre. We see the picture, we show them the word, and we say it aloud. And that helps our children to understand a foreign language even before they can read. In addition to reading books, we would sing our children's songs. Of course, all of us sing lullabies when we're rocking our children to sleep. Why not sing them songs in a foreign language? Sur le pont d'Avignon, on y danse, on y danse, sur le pont d'Avignon, on y danse tout en rond. On the bridge of Avignon, everybody's dancing, everybody's dancing. On the bridge of Avignon, everybody's dancing round and round. So these are songs that we can sing. At the same time, the children are hearing English, they're hearing multiple languages, and it is not going to create in them language confusion. Now, by this point, you may be saying to yourself, but Cecilia, we don't speak a second language in our home. All right, then, here's the second key to speaking a foreign language. If your child doesn't have the chance to speak a second language in the home, you may enroll that child in a language class. 
Even as your child is still learning phonics and writing the alphabet, you may introduce him or her to another language such as Latin, Spanish, or French, especially because in the early years, there is not a lot of writing as much as they are focused on vocabulary building and conversation. Playing CDs and singing with your children is important. Just as I sing my children lullabies to rock them to sleep, I chanted with them songs. In my classroom, when children are studying Latin, we do song school Latin. And the first thing that they do is they learn to sing songs. 30 classical and ecclesiastical songs are on this CD. And so while they're learning 100 vocabulary words through singing, they are hearing new sounds, maybe even before some of them can write. In the second level, the children learn 175 new vocabulary words and also 30 classical or ecclesiastically pronounced songs. Another key that I will add at this level when they are very, very young is not to buy the pre-packaged sets of vocabulary cards. The best thing to do, for example, in Spanish, here's la silla, a chair, have them write out the word color in the picture and then say the word aloud. These are much better than the prepackaged sets because the children, a lapis, pencil, they go much, much deeper when they make their own vocabulary cards. Here are some in Latin, crustulum, cookie, fructus, fruit, pulus, chicken. So flashcards help in that process of learning uh, much more deeply than um, if they were to just look at some prepackaged set. Now the third key to learning a foreign language, you probably have heard this maxim, repetitio est mater studiorum. Repetition is the mother of all learning. Virtue is repeated right action. And since in our homeschools, all of us want our children to learn to be virtuous, what better way to do it than to integrate the, the learning of virtue with the learning of a language? Studying a language builds virtue because doing it over a period of time requires repeated right action. So the best thing you can do, the third key to learning a foreign language is when they're very, very young, Give them a small amount of memory work, like five to seven minutes a day, including their poetry and their foreign language. Build in them the habit, because just like math, repetition in a language is the mother of learning. Don't back down when they tell you, but mom, dad, I don't want to learn a foreign language. I have met so many adults who have said as youngsters, they did not want to study another language outside of English, but they thank their mom and dads now for having encouraged them to do so. And I also hear the comment that my only regret is that I didn't study longer. Our own children have studied Latin as a foundation through high school and college. And then they have continued teaching themselves through programs such as Pimsleur or Rosetta Stone, Italian, Spanish, and French. Our oldest son speaks Spanish and taught himself using the Pimsleur method because he is the head grower for a large lettuce company in California and he manages Spanish speaking employees. Four of our six children have traveled to Europe for either work or leisure and one of them has also traveled to Asia for business. By knowing several languages, I can say that many doors were opened for me. I traveled throughout cities in 11 countries as a college student exploring history and meeting native people. Later, as a news reporter, I covered an international auto show in Geneva and I wrote articles about the operations in Germany of an international automotive company. I worked in hospitality in Southern France. I traveled to Lourdes in the foothills of the Pyrenees mountains with other hundreds of thousands of other pilgrims. 
And finally, in my pro-life work, I have been so blessed to help people who were struggling, who were non-English speakers, and they needed interpersonal communication from someone who could speak their language. Children who study languages are more imaginative, better with abstract ideas and more flexible in their thinking. They have a greater sensitivity to language and a better ear for listening. Studying a foreign language improves a child's understanding of his own native language, especially if that child studies Latin. It opens the door to other cultures and helps children to appreciate people from other countries. It can help the child feel more connected to their own ancestry. And finally, studying another language is fun. I love to help children and I love to help parents with language education. And if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way, the best way to contact me is to go to my website, latinteacherlansing.com. You can read my blog. You can take a look at my course descriptions. And there is a contact form if you'd like to reach out to me that way and ask me any questions. For now, au revoir. Adios. Vale.